Hi there. I thought today I would give you a quick tour of our backyard. It's a little messy at the moment. We need to mow and we still have the badminton net up, but I can show you the garden. The other day I showed you a um, tour of my patio space and I thought I'd give you more of a close-up view of what the garden is looking like now as opposed to what it looked like in the spring when I gave it a little makeover. So let's go ahead and get started. plants that I transplanted this year are looking real good and the hosta bed is still looking good underneath the trees. I still haven't decided what I'm going to put in front of them. I may put a few hostas in front scattered here and there but I really don't want to add too much more to this area. And then down here in the corner the limelight hydrangea is starting to bloom. Love this plant so much. In front of the vegetable garden, the boxwood that I planted is looking very well, as is the obedient plant and the yarrow. The yarrow is blooming at the moment. There you go. And the obedient plant has got a little bit left on it. So the, the yarrow is really seems to have taken off real well over here pretty excited about that. I wasn't sure it was going to survive because it was looking pretty crispy when I moved it over here. But this whole area, I need to redo a little bit. My The hydrangea is too big for the opening of my fence. The fence I'm going to be taking down and replacing, so I think I'm going to move the opening over a little bit. So I'll have to rework this walkway area, which I need to work on anyways, and this bed just a little bit to make it work for me. And then moving on to the main part of the garden, my moonbeam coreopsis is still in bloom. I love this plant so much. It's covered with flowers pretty much the whole summer, and it is gorgeous. And then back in here is my phlox area, and they are looking pretty. I love phlox. Got a few different colors. We've got the pink, or light pink, a medium pink, and then a real dark pink. Another light pink here, and like a light purple pink. And I've got one cornflower that likes to grow over here. So I think I'm just gonna leave that and see what happens. And then back here, I have a few more in like the light pink or purple and then a darker color over here. This right here, I thought this was a hydrangea but I'm thinking it's a weed at this point. So I'm just waiting on watching that one to see what happens before I pull it out. And then this boxwood down here, something we planted this year. It's looking good but it's pretty tiny. And we have some more coneflowers back there. And then this little rose bush here is pretty much done blooming at the moment. Last week it was completely covered in blooms. It's got a few more coming in. Here's one. It just bloomed. So that I need to kind of trim up a little bit. And I should get some more blooms. You can see here. See that? I got more blooms coming. So that's nice. And then back here is the hydrangea that we put in earlier this year. And it is actually starting to bloom. Look at that. I'm so excited. Got a couple blooms on it. And then the other one that was a little bit bigger 
is this one right here. And this one has some blooms also on it. I'm hoping that they, they're not all the way opened at the moment. So I'm hoping that they will open up and be like a cone shaped um, bloom on them. But I'm a little concerned that they're not going to be the kind that open up all the way. I don't know. We'll see. So that shrub is looking really well. And then I have the two Evervites in here. And <laughs> I have my little chicken statue here in front of this garden ornament. So this whole area is looking very nice. All right, and then moving on, I have daylilies, one of which is kind of not blooming at the moment, and the other one is, which is nice. So then I have at least one blooming. And then in front of that, we have a boxwood, which I put in this summer, this earlier this spring. It seems to be doing well. Then over here, I have a little circle of, what do you call it? ladies mantle and behind that I have some sedums and then behind that is another hydrangea bush this one has like doubled in size this year and I believe it's like a twist and shout one and the blooms are just starting to turn to open so that is a nice plant to have so this little area of ladies mantle is looking pretty good I put the garden ornament in the middle that I picked up this spring at a flea market. So I like the way this whole area is looking. Although the ladies mantle is starting to get really crispy and it's about done for the year. But at the moment it's looking nice and full and lush. And then back over here I have a coneflower or black eyed Susan I'm sorry which is blooming. And I got a whole bunch of weeds back in here that I need to deal with. But then I have another limelight hydra lime light hydrangea, which is just starting to bloom. I love this plant so much. And then the final part of the garden for this year is this little area over here. Here. Um, I have some pink hydrangeas in the front and in the back I have two more limelight hydrangea. And I think it looks very nice. Oh, there's a Shelby girl. <laughs> Let me get you a closer view of the blooms. So here's what those are looking like. Very pretty. And then the smaller ones are looking really rough, but they are blooming, so that is good. So I'm very excited, and then my snow on the mountain is starting to look a little crispy, but that's okay. So that is what the garden is currently looking like. I am enjoying the flax in full bloom. I look forward to that every year. And I'm also excited that the hydrangeas are almost at full bloom. With another week, they'll be in full bloom and I'll be very excited. <laughs> so the garden itself needs a little bit of work. There's always weeding to be done and deadheading to be done. But for the most part, it's looking pretty good. So I am very happy with it. Um, I do have a few areas in which are overrun with um, weeds like the vegetable garden area and then the side of my house garden but I have not been able to get to so I will get to that <laughs> but both areas are areas in which I am redoing this year so 
I plan to get started on that here real soon. So anyways, thanks so very much for watching today. I appreciate it. And I am going to let you go because the mosquitoes have found me and I am getting bitten. So I will see you again soon. Bye.